The problem within any organisation is that we get trapped within a world of what is, the way we do things around here. And we're locked within that world by an environment of, or an atmosphere of, conventional and traditional thinking. We'd like to break out from time to time because in that world all we can ever do when we make decisions or solve problems is do things better, We're incremental improvement. If we want to make step change, if we want to do something radically different, we need to break free from those constraints. The snag is that we've got some mental blocks in the way, and those mental blocks are almost hardwired within our DNA, for goodness sake. We learned many, many years ago on an evolutionary timescale that if we do anything outrageous, if we take a risk, if we do something different, we could lose our life, for goodness sake. Now, things have moved on. It's not quite so precarious now, but nevertheless, the wiring within our DNA is there that holds us in that safe place. In order to overcome those blockages, we first need to recognize that they're there in order that we can then access an exploding universe of opportunity that will drive innovation. But to overcome those blockages, we then need to use creativity techniques that will structure the way we think, fly in the face of conventional and traditional thinking, and progressively over time deliver a culture of creativity. What that will do is release potential in both the organization and the individuals and genuinely take you to the next level. That's what will drive the innovation culture.